Hey, 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 y'all. It is I, the drunk girl of Fear Street, and I am back with another video game review. I just finished Detroit Become Human like maybe 10 minutes ago, max, because I ran to the bathroom and put on a wig afterwards. So I'm going to say about 10 minutes. Um, I also hydrated. We're drinking water this year. Get into it. Um, this game was suggested to me by my friends BB and Dion, who saw me doing video game reviews. I was like, bitch, you should play this. They were right. I had fun. Let's get into it. Um, the gameplay, I went with the easy controls, as y'all y'all know I'm not here to struggle. I am here for a good time. That did mean that all three of my characters ended up living, even though I did kill Connor twice. Um, they throw you right the fuck in. Like, you meet Connor first, hostage situation, child in danger, trying to figure out the clues. You're androids, bitches. This is the world. And I live for that. I don't like places or games and movies that, like, make you sit there for 30 minutes and tell you everything. Throw me in. Throw me in. We figured it out, didn't we? Because Connor ended up living in the time when I got BT dubs, there are multiple choices that mean things. Like, I think that this might have the most highest replay game value. Highest game replay value of anything I've played this year. Um, and that's because each of these three characters are on a journey. And I, unfortunately, I did the things that led to the obvious outcomes. And the obvious reveals. And so here we all are. However, Kara, who is our lady android we get to play, because there has to be one, yay, equality-ish. Um, <laughs> um, she's running around with a little girl, which I was not happy about. I wish that she could have a badass journey like Connor or Marcus, because Marcus is leading the revolution when I'm done with him. Um, and Connor's out here being like, am I, am I human? Am I a dancer? I don't know. Um, I got him killed twice, and then he was like, I'm going to come to the right side because you're playing me and you seem to not like cops. Um... <laughs> But anyways, Kara does pick up another android who is assisting her and Alice, the little girl she ran off with from an abusive home. And you're like, oh, not a domestic abuse situation with androids. But of course, because people are always peopling, even with androids. And so we pick up Luther, who is a big black man android. And he's very much like on the side of protect these two at all costs. And there are a couple of ways you could leave him or sacrifice him. And I just refused. I fucking refused. The Sheree Bohannon... <laughs> The Sheree Bohannon cut, he lives, and it's fine. We had to sacrifice somebody else when we were almost across the border, and I will sleep fine at night knowing that. Anywho, I think that it is really cool to see people apply um, a civil rights situation to androids because we're always fighting computers in the television and film. Like, hello, Terminator. Hello, so many other things. Um, and so I think that it's kind of nice to be like, hey, y'all, some of you don't want to see people as people. So what if we make your robots? I also enjoy that the video game menu fucks with you. Um, so when you go out and come back in, which, again, like, I didn't do that that much. This game is maybe 11 hours, maybe. But also, I was looking for extra shit. I was like, mission, 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 mission. But anyway, when you come back and you're, like, uploading, the menu talks to you and it asks you questions and it gives you surveys. And at one point, it's like, are we friends? Um, because she is one of the androids running around in this world. Anywho, uh, Marcus's journey, when we meet Marcus, he's a very well-to-do android working for Lance Hendrickson's character because Lance Hendrickson is everywhere. Not expecting him is my first mistake always because I'm like, oh, it's Lance. Lance is everywhere, bitch. He's everywhere. Um, and Lance's character has a son who's a shady fucker. And I am a Gemini. So when the shady fucker tried me, I shoved him. He got very much unconscious and bloody. He might be dead. I don't. I assume he's dead because I'm running from the police next time I see Marcus. Um, I've been disassembled. It, it's it's fine. It's fine. Um, and <laughs> and that's what starts Marcus on his journey of I don't think I really belong in this capacity of a servant. What if what if me and my Android people were free? Um, and you get to choose violence or nonviolence. I definitely was towing the lines. I keep like my right hand person and my future girlfriend on my side. So I was like, I'm gonna do a little bit of both. So I can keep both of you happy, but also we're gonna fuck this up. And we fucking did. We fucking did. After they came for where we were hiding out and like living our best lives, we ran. We ran at them because they're putting androids in camps, which again, like these are big historical things being swerved around for a future world where androids are like, we want to be people. Um, people are treating androids like old school PlayStation 1s where they're just like, oh yeah, I think it's in the attic. Or, oh yeah, I'll make it do my bidding when I want to. Um, and they're not having it. Also, Connor is here with a very familiar face whose name I just forgot because I'm bad at names, but we've seen him so many times, including Mortuary Collection and other things he's always in because he's that kind of an actor. 
Oh, wow. People are going to yell at me. I know I know his name. Don't yell at me. But anyway, they are a ragtag buddy cop team situation. Um, our friend is not having a good life. His son has died. He is an alcoholic. He's tried to end himself a couple times, we think. Or it's, it's, it's murky. And as Connor's figuring out, if he does go off mission because he's been programmed to do a mission or not, they sort of have a tango because I was like, I'm going to fight you now. I don't want to fight you now. At one point, he does shoot me. And I'm not I'm not saying he was wrong for it because I was testing him. I, me and Connor were hitting all the wrong buttons and he shot me. And that's the second time Connor died. <laughs> for me this time around. I'm sure there'll be more times when I come back. Um, But I ended things on a good term with them. Um, They are now friendly but also Connor might be on the lamb because I ended things very very wild because I'm a wild girl I'm a Gemini and I do not like my robots being controlled by humans um so I did leave a revolution um people did die you have to sometimes break omelets you have to break eggs to make an omelet that's what I've heard I don't actually make omelets as you know I don't cook but anywho's I think that it it's a fun story I think that there's a lot more to explore than I did because again I was on task um I think that I think that the reveals and the like double crosses aren't really working because again you see them coming but I know a lot of people are not the kind of people who are like I bet I can't trust this bitch and I am because again Jim and I I also think the gameplay is pretty easy. I mean, like, as far as controls go, I, I had to, like, adjust my camera a couple times because they would, like, put me in weird corners. And there was one time it glitched, and so I was stuck behind a person, and they wouldn't let me walk around him. And I was like, is this a test? Am I losing? Um, and, like, oh, my God. Today, when I was at the last chapter, I was at the last chapter. Connor was about to figure out who he can't trust anybody, even in his own system, and it froze. And I had to, like, restart my whole system. And they're like, you haven't updated in a minute, bitch. And I was like, not now. Um, but that was a me problem, not a game problem. I think that it is a good time. It is still in the PlayStation subscription if you're doing that like I am because it's still cheaper even with the like increase to price. It's still cheaper than buying a few games a year. So I will be doing this next year. Um, look for that Kickstarter. Anywho's, I think she's a fun time. I think you should play her. I think that you should make bloodier choices than I did because I didn't want to, I did not want a difficult time. And so that's why all my controls were easy. Um, I also ended up on the side of the robots because I'm not going to be out of here not a cabbing. So I was like, fuck it up. Um, and so I definitely got a, a happy ending for everybody. And I think the next time I play, I'm going to try and resist the urge to be me and see what happens when everybody does. And Connor Stews did because he definitely came to the right side after like busting a couple of robots. He got so many, he got so many androids murdered because again, I have survival instinct issues. And so I was like, Pah! And I was, oh no, I, I believe in you. I'm so sorry. I just hurt my cause. That is not Connor's cause. Very confusing shit, y'all. Very confusing shit. Anywho's, I hope you play her. Um, <laughs> Detroit Become Human. I played her on PS4, but I know she's on some other stuff. Um, if there's a sequel, I would like to see it. Uh, if this, I need to like figure out who the developer is because I hopped on here right after playing. I have no notes. Like, as you can see, I didn't even like secure the wig. We're out here, y'all. We're out here. Um, if you have some horror games you'd like to see me play, even though this was not horror, it was a more sci-fi thriller, don't at me. Um, feel free to drop us a line because that's how I'm getting most of my list of symbols. People being like, you like this kind of shit? Well, I got some more kind of shit like that. Um, and when it pops up in my Facebook subscription, I hit the download button. Yes, that's all I know. Thank you. Thank you for being a friend. Play that video game and let me know what you think. Bye.